Okay, just a couple of experiments to show you today. Now this week I've been working on trying to maximize the output of uh, the coil. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you have the L2 coil, say about here, uh, on the L1, most of the high voltage would appear above the L2 and below the L2 uh, is pretty dead. Now, it's what I've done this week is try and get the L2 right at the base of the L1. So this maximizes the amount of uh, windings really being used to produce the high voltage. And uh, it's, got, it's working really well now. My coil is basically just 26 gauge uh, SWG wire wound on a pot bottle and they basically just started winding where the bottle becomes smooth and ended where it uh, ends being smooth well flat if you know what i mean uh, so what i did was i put a piece of sticky tape double-sided down one side and it just controls the winding as you're winding it on and my l2 uh, that's just uh, i think it's eight turns off 18 gauge swg and uh, that's working really well now so i'm quite happy with that now the first experiment I want to show you today uh, is involved in this uh, 1.5 volt mobile phone charger. Now basically it's what I've done is I've extended uh, the battery so it's actually outside of the uh, the 1.5 volt phone charger. Now so what I've done I've just put a piece of uh, rubber pipe up it and shoved the drill up uh, so I've moved the connections outside of the charger and I'm running uh, the 1.5 volt battery through a 1 ohm resistor and this meter here is measuring the current there and the current draw is 260 milliamps and the output from the 1.5 volt bone charger goes through another one ohm resistor and this meter here is reading that and that is uh, 37 milliamps so we've got 5.5 uh, volts coming out of the phone charger at 37 milliamps and 1.5 volts going in at 260 milliamps so that sorts that out now, the other thing I want to show you is, uh, if I just get rid of the mobile phone charger, just bear with me a minute. Let's substitute for these batteries here. Is, uh, the Slayer circuit is really, really uh, incredible, really. It's uh, got such a high output, you can do uh, some incredible stuff with it. And it's what I found out I can do this morning is I can light a, uh, a plasma globe with it. Uh, just get rid of that. Now this is the output here from the uh, L1 coil and I'll just put the camera down a minute while I shut the thing up here. This is a plasma globe which I gutted. I've taken the uh, transformer out for another experiment so it's just basically an empty globe and it's uh, quite interesting if I shove this uh, high voltage output from L1 up there you can see, I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but it's actually operating that plasma globe. I hope it shows up. And that's using uh, one, two, three, four, five double A batteries. And the uh, current draw is uh, 108 milliamps. I just thought that was absolutely amazing that. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.